Susanna Black is live right now in Durham. And I know, Susanna, you've been speaking to these crews who are still waiting to dig up that ruptured gas line. What have you learned? That's right. You can see the last of the crews are actually leaving right now. They have been standing by to excavate that gas line. They say they want to get to the area of impact to get a better look at what exactly happened the day of the blast. But that will not be happening today. Durham Fire confirms that there is just too much debris and they need to wait on insurance companies to come in and, sh and sift through it. Now, again, the area where they are focusing is the main area of impact. It is right there under that large tarp. And crews believe that that is where they will find the most evidence of exactly what happened to give them a better picture. Now, I spoke with Durham's mayor earlier today, and he says everything is going to plan here as best it can as far as cleanup. The state is taking care of Duke Street, where we're standing right now, while the city is looking at how they handled the blast. They're compiling an after action report to analyze each decision that was made by every department to see if it could have been done better. Our folks are really looking at what did we do well, what could we do better, and um, so those are the things that are going on right now. In addition to which, we still have several of our residents in the hospital, and uh, people are really working on behalf of them to support them and their families, as well as the people who lost their jobs in the explosion. when that report will be finished. But he said, in his opinion, Durham Fire and Police did a great job. For now, I'm live in Durham, Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.